Previously on Let's Play Pokemon Blue, Kakarot and his group of Pokemon found the mysterious secret key in Cinnabar Mansion. Now they will find out what it opens. Does it open the gates to hell? Does it open the doorway to another dimension? Find out now! Hey guys, this is Radar Mario 21 back with more Let's Play Pokemon Blue, and no, the secret key doesn't open anything cool, it's just the door of the gym. Yeah, I know, all that let up, all that big build up for nothing. It's just a freaking gym, just like the other six we've been into. Anyway, premise of Cinnabar Gym is you could do this. It's trivia time! Woohoo! Blah, 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 blah. Okay, then, give me the question. Technically, it does indirectly, so yeah, that's right. And wahoo, I'm right. I don't have to face the trainer, but quite frankly, I want to, if my controller will do what I tell it to. Wait, you became straight? Did you go to one of those Jesus camps? One of those pray the gay away camps? Dude, seriously. Just be who you are. Doesn't matter what your orientation is, just as long as you're happy in life, that's all that matters. And I'm being completely serious about that, it doesn't matter who you are as long as you're happy in life. Anyway, this guy's got a growl, so let's just kick his ass. And, hell yeah, critical hit. What else he got? Vulpix? Ah, that sucks. No, I'm not switching. Cliff, go kick its ass. And, hell yeah, I don't even need a freaking uh, frick critical to knock your ass out. And finally, ooh, Ninetales. Ah, I know I'll keep Cliff out there, why not? Die. I could just let Cliff Burton curb stomp this entire gym, but I might just give some other Pokemon a couple of shots. But if Cliff keeps criticaling everything, I might have to reconsider, because, dude, you are just a certified badass. What do you guys say, dude? Okay. What are you, French? You surrendering to me like the French? What else you got to say? Dude, talk to me, man. Dude, you're a kleptomaniac. Maybe it's good that you're locked away. Is this Pokemon Jail? Did I break in the Pokemon Trainer Jail? I hope God I didn't, but let's see. Uh, about 3,600 degrees Celsius? That's just a wild shot in a dark guess, dude. And of course, super nerd. Gotta go with the chem stuff. But no, honestly, I am a chemistry guy. You know, I got a degree in it. I got a bachelor's of science in chemistry. And I work as a chemist, so yeah, it's just all good. I love chemistry. And die, Vulpix. Die in one hit. Hell yeah. What else he got? Enough with the Vulpixes. Dude, you're a super nerd. You're supposed to use something more nerdy than Vulpix or something. I don't know what's more nerdy, if Vulpix is really nerdy or not, or what Pokemon's supposed to be nerdy, but... You know, you're supposed to read up on the strategies. Put the chem book down and learn Pokemon strategies. And just for the sake of it, yeah, for Nine Tails, I will use Slash, because why not? And I will smack you with an Earthquake, so die. And I believe that's it. What do you got to say, dude? Come on. Hot, hot. Dude, are you Darunia? What? I'm actually just play, playing Saria's song right now. Hold on. Had to do that. I mean, come on. What a hot beat. What else you got to say, dude? Yeah, combustion, the process of a hydrocarbon chain, usually in a long alkane, when it comes into contact with oxygen, produces water, carbon dioxide, and a great deal of energy, usually in the megajoules, I want to say. Okay? Blah, 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 blah. Nine badges? Sorry, Gary! How you got ten in the anime, I have no freaking idea. There are only eight. Gary must have cheated. Especially he couldn't find the Cinnabar gym, so God only knows what and he didn't beat Giovanni, so God only knows what badges he got. And you study Pokemon totally? I highly doubt that. You might only know the Gen 1 Pokemon, but there's another five generations plus. 
Super Nerd with your Ponyta. Die. Wahoo, super effective. Uh, Charmander? No, I'm gonna keep Cliff out there. Why not? Die. Wait, crap. Do I have an Aether on me? I hope to God I have an Aether on me. I just realized. And hooray, unnecessary critical on a freaking Charmander. Uh, Volpix, actually, I'm gonna do something on the left field here. Uh, Lars Ulrich, you need to catch up, so go for it, buddy. This guy sucks anyway. He's no good. This guy's a doofus. Lars Ulrich, you can body slam him to death. Really? No evolved Pokemon, dude. If you cite Pokemon, you know that your Pokemon need Fire Stones. And you can go to Celadon City and buy Fire Stones and turn them into badass Pokemon. But no, you're an idiot. What do you gotta say, man? What studies? You study, you were partying instead of studying, trust me. I know. Try me. Anyway, let's see what this one has, this question is. Pyroag evolves three times. Technically, yes, in Generation 2 it has a France evolution, but we don't know about that third evolution, so no. I love making these questions way more complicated than they have to be. That's just who I am. Okay, cool. I just like using Pokemon that kick ass. I'm not typist, Cam Burglar. And that's all you have is a Ponyta? Evolve that thing, man. You're embarrassing. Die. One hit KO, not even a critical hit. You're pathetic. And Cliff, you kick ass, level 43. Awesome. What do you guys say, Hamburglar? That's right, I am too hot to handle. If I knew that... I think it's the uh, Counting Crows song. If I knew the words to it, I'd sing it, but... I don't know the words to that song, sorry. What else you gotta say, man? Talk to me. Uh, wait till Generation 2, man. Or just go to Johto. Just, dude, go to Johto. Tell me I have a, I have a Max Aether. Ah, why the hell not? Max Aether for Surf, yes, awesome. And Cliff, I'm benching you until the, the final battle, so... Unless everyone else levels up, but we're just going to go with that for now. And let's see what this guy's got to say. Why? Because his parents forced him to? That's probably why. They're like, Bane, you got to be a trainer. It's in your blood, blah, blah, blah. I really don't know, but... Hey, Rapidash, awesome. Finally, something that doesn't completely suck. But I'm still going to have to smack you with an earthquake. And you're using physical... Screw you and you're flinching. Just die already. Die. Die of fiery death. Yeah, I know it's kind of graphic, but come on, it's the fire gym. You gotta talk about fiery death and fiery pits of death and all that good stuff. And level 43 slash, because you're awesome. What do you gotta say, super nerd? Ow! You're one of these idiots that feel pain when your Pokemon get hurt? You're weird, man. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, like, some weird-ass Pokemon saved his life? I guess that's cool. Our Thunder move... Electric moves! There's no... Thunder is a move. And no, they're not effective. They do nothing. That's how I completely pwned Lieutenant Surge. And since Slash is level 43, I want to throw Lars Ulrich into the fray, because, again, I want to keep the team somewhat balanced. And I do have an unofficial level cap. Once they get to a certain level, once they, everyone gets to about level 51, I want to make sure to just pause my recordings and everything and just export this team to Pokemon Stadium. More on that in a later episode, but you can probably figure out what I want. And this Vulpix needs to die.
And you got Growlithe. Come on, people. I'm going to take you all on a field trip to sell it on City. I'm going to take you on a field trip, introduce you to the lady who's st- the dude who sells freaking elemental stones. We're going to buy them, and you're going to evolve your Pokemon because you people are morons. Yeah, I know. I am too hot. What do you guys say? What else do you guys say? Okay, cool. What about Charizard? He's an awesome Pokemon. And as per usual, time to check the trivia machine. Let's go. Yeah, it's just like Buzz Time Trivia, except it's... Oh, this one. Same type of level are not identical. It's kind of confusing, kind of weirdly worded, but... It's true, they aren't identical. It's been proven many, many times. That's right, Buzz Time Trivia. I'm kicking your ass. And we, we got one more doofus to deal with. So let's do it. One more... Just say water, not dihydrogen monoxide, dude. You're not that smart. You're just... You're being more pretentious and smart. Die. And also, fire doesn't fare too well against silicon dioxide, also known as sand. Vulpix? No, I'm not changing. Lars can kick its ass. Die. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's right. You don't even stand a chance against me. You're pathetic, and Lars Ulrich kicks ass because he's at level 43 now. What do you guys say, super nerd? Some more chemistry stuff? Snuffed at? What the hell are you talking about? Couldn't you say, like, extinguished or something? Like, those lab fires and those put out with those... Yeah, I know, and Fire Mild Ice, except Ice is super effective against Charizard, because it's kind of weird. Yeah, by the time I got it, let's get to the question. I wish TM28 is Dig? I know it's not Tombstoner, because that would be the Undertaker signature move. I could just see it now. Jim Ross going, by God, the Tombstoner! He's done! Blaine is done! But no, no. There's no tombstone remove. Unfortunately, it's really sad, so whatever. Uh, Cliff Burton, time to come back, cause it's boss time. Ha! Okay. Fire! To begin with Pink Dance of the Dead! Blacken is the end! To begin with Pink Dance of the Dead! Come on, Blacken! Blacken! And you better have brought a towel, dude. I mean, seriously, what kind of insult is that? Huh, you better have burn heal. Don't forget to bring a towel, because I have a water Pokemon, dude. Die. You're going to get all wet, and you don't have a towel. I'm not going to give you mine. So screw you. Oh, that's right. One hit KO. No critical necessary. No, you suck. Just, no. Blaine, no. In all honesty, Blaine is one of the easier gym leaders in this game. He's not quite as easy as Surge, but he's still pretty freaking easy. Especially if you have a good water Pokemon like a Starmie or a Vaporeon or a Lapras or a Blastoise. Yeah, or like good, or even a Slowbro. Like, there are good five, six Pokemon that can just easily curb stomp Blaine. And I'm not even over-leveled. I mean, I'm like right at his level, so yeah. And technically, I'm uh, going to do the next gym like pretty much immediately next, so they've got no time to train, but it doesn't really matter. Arcanine, no, I'm going to go for... Cliff's going for the, the perfect sweep. Level 47. Come on, Cliff, I need a critical and I need it now. Ah, come on, man. Okay, waste the super potion. Be my guest. And die again. Die. Die again. Drenched in sin. With no respect for another. If you know that song, you are awesome. And Blaine? You didn't do one HP of damage to Cliff Burton. You are completely pathetic. So, yes you have. So color your old blackened. All right, dude, what do you got? Ha! Yeah, I know, you're terrible. I know, it's awesome. 
Okay, thanks. What is it? Hell yes! TM38 is Fire Blast. I'm gonna make duplicates of it with the missing no glitch, but I'm definitely. Yeah, and who would be better than Charmeleon is Charizard! Because as I was saying, I'm going to teach it to Charizard, because he's a badass and he needs to know Fire Blast. I don't know. I don't think any water Pokemon can learn it, dude. Hold on, let me double check. And I'm right, Cliff can't learn, learn it, so dude, you're a moron. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here, and while I do, I'll sign out now. So, till next time, this is Radar Mario 21 signing out. See you guys next time. Later.